Hey everyone, it's Arvin. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, nobody asked, but we are here in the formal living room and we are about to hang some lighting. <laughs> I feel like I'm designing our home like one lamp at a time. Like I don't have side tables, I don't have hanging art, I don't have like the right sofas, <laughs> but I do have a lot of lamps. And we're about to hang a very special lamp today. I was kind of unsure about it at first because I just like, I sometimes hate hanging things on walls because it leaves holes and I just like, I just don't know if I, like I'm gonna love it, but I think we're just gonna go for it. You know, if we hate it, we can always take it down and hang it somewhere else. But I'm just, I'm excited to see it up. Okay. So the, I, yeah, so the idea is that it's low enough. Yeah, see that's, I think that's too far. I'm trying to imagine if I'm sitting here. Ugh, God, of course, there's a little shit here. I can like, I feel like that's so high. Can you lower it? A, a... Ooh, that's gonna be too low. You don't think? I mean, this is low. Making me nervous with all this cutting. <laughs> if it doesn't work out or we, for whatever reason, we hate the sconce being here, we can always remove it, patch it up, fix it, whatever. But I really think it'll just add like something to this space because like I've always wanted a pendant to hang like over here, but I think it's just gonna be too complicated. Excuse me. It's complicated. I don't wanna ruin the wood ceiling. It, you can't repair the wood ceiling. It's like never gonna look the same if you end up like not loving a fixture or I need to lift the sconce up. You need to lift this up uh -huh. and bring this as close as possible. I need to pull the, and feed the wire out. Okay, so can you try feeding that in? And I'm going to slowly lift this up. It works. Mm -hmm. It's swinging, it's swinging. It's articulating, articulating. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is why vintage lighting It's time to put the living room back together. You can already see the scones and it's looking so freaking good. I'm gonna, we need to put my little writing desk back. Okay, it has furniture pads now, so it should be perfect. It actually, it needs to go just a little bit this way. Put this there just to cover the drywall for now. Obviously we're gonna get that fixed, but we'll just put that there for now. You can even articulate it. Whoa! Stop right now. Ow. Oh my gosh, it's on! It's on, boys, it's on. <sighs> that looks so good. Okay, this, <laughs> it looks even better than I imagined. I feel like oh, it's so good. It's so good. What are you calling this one? Um, we can call it the, oh, I don't know, the Matthew lamp. Just, just say like Matthew. shelving unit. I use two obviously to like make a bigger piece and I got this because it reminds me of 
shelves by Charlotte Perrion, one of my favorite designers. Okay, what do we think? Um, obviously not final, okay? So I don't want to hear it in the comments like I posted the scones on Instagram and people were like focusing on the wire. I swear to God, like people focus on the dumbest things. Like you guys, wires are part of real life. Wires are part of lamps. They need electricity, okay? So I don't want to hear it. Beyonce's Coachella performance and whew, that performance just gets me hyped. Anyway, we are back at the office. It's the following day. I want to restyle my shelves because I just like, I miss seeing my decor, my books. And you know, as much as I loved having my table in here as like a desk, I just have to be honest with myself and I just would never use a desk in here like if I'm working on something I'm usually like on the dining table or I'm in the living room I have um I don't know so I'm kind of like styling I'm kind of imagining the office to be like part filming room and this will be like the study the library I want to display my collection of objects that are special to me Gucci, almost like a briefcase. It is like a dead copy of an archive piece that was made like, I think in the 50s or 60s, and I gave this to Andrew as a gift one year. Um, and if you didn't know, I used to work for Gucci for almost seven years, so thank God for that employee discount, am I right? But it has navy and red, so again, kind of bringing in some of these colors. The daybed has a navy cushion, and this actually reminds me of our trip to Milan when Gucci sent me there for work and I got to see the collection. So I just love how this reminds me of a very special trip that Andrew and I went to. I have a lot of these darker vessels and pottery, I have butter yellow colored pieces. You guys know I love butter yellow right now and some like antique African pieces. Um, yes, I know there's not a vent there, okay? I don't wanna hear it. They're arriving this week, so be quiet. And I just wanna style some of these. I actually don't know where the rest of my decor is, so. too many objects not enough books or I don't know what it is there's just like something missing and I feel like when it comes to shelf styling you just have to like keep playing um anyway let's let's revisit this tomorrow when I have like fresh eyes I'm a little bit tired it's the end of the day now and I'm gonna grab a few more things from storage Andrew and I are off to an antique shop here in LA called Vintage Junction LA. I saw one of my friends on Instagram post about it and I was like, oh, we're gonna go there. I'm gonna see if I can find anything for our makeover project that, um, what would you call it? It's like a, is it a mid-century townhouse? Not mid-century, what style would you call that? It's very like, maybe deco, I don't know. No, what's that deco? It's like, I don't know, it's like, I don't know. You tell me what style this is. I, I should know this, now I'm embarrassed, but. Anyway, it's an old home and we're, tr we're going to give it a makeover and I just feel like we need some vintage pieces because all of the things that we got are from 
a contemporary brand and you know you know me i we gotta have some vintage in there so i'm hoping the prices are good and we'll see if we can find something <laughs> you can totally see like my shelves full of decor in the background <laughs> we just pulled up to vintage junction and my god this place looks huge and crazy I have never been here before. Look at all this patio stuff. Oh, I like this little table. Oh, is that for sewing? Oh, I like this little chair. Are you kidding me? They have so much good stuff. How much is this? This could be cool. This could be cool for a little makeover. Okay. Yeah, very like vintage French. Oh, what? This? What is going on? Never been here. Whoa. Oh my gosh, look at all these paintings. I kind of like her. Nice colors. Ooh, I like that. Look at this. Maybe get this. I don't know what the price is, though. Oh, I like this old guy, too. Very into portraits right now, you guys. Okay, I'm going to hang on to this because that's really lovely. Look at this brass lamp. Are you kidding me? For $80? No, $40. $40. Look at these massive pendants, you guys. Like, no Gucci who? Okay? <laughs> these red pendants are huge. We made it to the other side, and there's so many chairs. You know, chairing is caring. <laughs> this is like my idea of heaven. All right, let's see if we can score. What can we find? Office. Ah, wait, this piece. Look at this little abstract piece. I'm kind of into that. It's just like a bl hazy blue. I know people are going to be like, oh, it's nothing. Bitch, you're nothing. I'm going to get this. I don't know how much it is, but we're going to get that. Oh, she's pretty. Stunning. Okay, I'll get that too. I don't know how much anything here is in here. This is like a little treasure trove back here. Oh my god. What is this? Let's go in here. It's probably the overflow then over there. Let me try. Andrew found this great hat here. Actually, it's a good looking hat. What do you think? It's actually a good looking hat. And then look at this um, Japanese Gardens for All book. Hold on, hold on, you're gonna die. Look at how old this book is. The cover is all tattered, but look at the cover. So one of my favorite tricks is like, if the cover is not your thing, just take it off. It's like art for your coffee table. And it's Japanese gardens, um, perfect timing because we're trying to work on our atrium. Is it too tall? No, well, I think that's the intended style. Isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if I can pull it off. I see a lampshade. I gotta get it. <laughs> he hunts down lampshades like they're <laughs> like they're puppies lost in the wild. <laughs> I've been needing like a small empire shade with a clip, and this is so sweet. <laughs> Cute. That vintage shop was so much fun. Now, we found a few things for our makeover project, but more importantly, I found a ton of vintage books for the library. I think I'm officially calling my office and I'm converting it and it's going to be the library because as much as I loved having my table in here and that desk, and I loved looking at it from like the living room, I just would never 
sit here on a desk, you know? So I love the functionality of having books here, my favorite objects that I've collected, and I found the most amazing books. I mean, who's ready for a vintage book haul? Am I right? Um, this one, I really want to learn more about art. This is a Matisse, Picasso, and Miro book. And while the cover is not like my favorite, look how pretty this is when you take it off. Are you kidding me? Stop it right now. This is so chic. I cannot wait to flip through these and learn. I was talking to the owner of um, Vintage Junction LA and her name is Judy. She is the sweetest lady and these old Japanese books, these are from the 50s and it belonged to, I think she said a botanist, no, a bonsai artist who traveled the world and this, I just like, I love a story. I, I'm a sucker for a story. I just, this is so cool. And you know what? Our home was actually inspired by Japanese architecture. I don't know if you knew that. This one I'm very excited to read because I love doing Ikebana arrangements. Ah, look at these. Okay, we're not making over this part, but let me... Oh, this is a great color for the walls. It still feels really bright and airy, but not as like stark. There's a little bit of a gray undertone to it, and I think it's gonna look so good with the flooring that they have, that kind of warm brown. Wow, you guys, I mean, the power of paint. It looks so fresh. Oh, I love that color, right? That's a great color, all right. It's been a few days now. We still need to go back to our makeover project to style and do the makeover. And I think we just need to get a few finishing touches and we'll be ready to go and film. And I'm very excited with how the paint color turned out. I really wanted that space to feel fresh and updated and modern. But anyway, I wanted to chat with you for a second because you've probably noticed that we're not on YouTube quite as often. And that is because we are working on so many things behind the scenes that is upcoming for this year and next year. And I like, I can barely keep up with Instagram, let alone YouTube. <laughs> My days lately have been like, I'll wake up at seven, do coffee, and I'll be working all day. And before you know it, it's 5 p.m. and I still haven't eaten any food. I'm like, you know, it, it's just been a little bit hectic. I don't think I've shared this on YouTube yet, but it's just Andrew and I, we do everything ourselves. We don't have like, you know, a big talent agency. We don't have an assistant. We were going to hire an assistant um, when we were still in Vegas, but we were like in this transition period. We wanted to move to LA and I felt like it wouldn't make sense hiring an assistant in Vegas, you know? But now that we're settled back into the house, almost, I do feel like we need to hire an assistant because I'm just like, I can barely keep up with social these days because we're working on other things. Um, and I'm not like complaining or anything, like I am so grateful to be busy, you know? But I just like, when, I feel like when we're really busy working on, on other things, like, our socials like go down, go down, you know? Like I feel like I, I can't film everything myself, I can't shoot everything myself. So I just wanted to let you know what's going on and update you on why, you know, we're not on social as much these days, but I do want to get back into it. I'm trying to be consistent again, but it's, it is just, 
I need some help. I need an assistant. I need just, you know, someone to help me capture content like before. Um, but with that being said, there's a ton of exciting projects and makeovers that we're working on for the rest of the year and something really big is coming next year. And we're also shooting something um, really exciting here at home next month. And actually my friend who's an interior designer, Skylar Burkis, she was here yesterday to help me pick out fabrics for um, this day bed and the day bed that's in the library. While I love this like mustard color, this is just like not the fabric I would have chosen for that specific piece. So we chose something that's really beautiful. It should be done in the next few weeks, I think. And yeah, we are just like going hard, prepping the house for the big photo shoot next month. And before I go, I want to get your opinion on this sconce. Now, I love the functionality of having an articulating sconce in this room. However, I just don't know, like, let me flip this over. Let me go further, maybe like this. I just don't know like, I love this lamp here, this brass lamp. It's such a statement, it's very strong, it's very angular. And I also feel like the sconce is very strong and angular and it's also metal. So I feel like I need to, let me step back. Like, like if I had to pick between the two, I love the brass lamp more. So I feel like I need to find something, I feel like I need to find something a little bit different. I honestly feel like I need something fabric, right? Like to soften the room, I need something still like an articulating lamp on the wall, but maybe with a fabric shade, right? I don't know if that's translating. I feel like it will help soften the room and it won't be like so matchy-matchy, if that makes sense. Um, let me know your thoughts. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think of everything so far. I love hearing your thoughts and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you're not caught up yet on YouTube, uh, watch this video next and I will see you in that video. Bye everyone.